You ever see Willy Wonka in a chocolate factory? I love Willy Wonka. This dude give out five tickets for a tour of his chocolate factory and the world goes crazy. They're thrown into a frenzy. They all want one of these tickets, but they all can't have them. There's only five. The thing is, even if you got one, it's still just a tour of a factory. I don't know if you've ever been to a factory, but they're not fun at all. It doesn't matter. Scarcity is a powerful motivator. Wonka said only five people in the entire world, and they fought themselves to see the inside of a damn factory. You can do this too, and your last name don't gotta be Wonka. You don't need any musical numbers or Oompa Loompas and makeup working for you. Your business right now can use scarcity to drive more customers, more gigs, and more sales. That's what we're talking about today. Scarcity. What's up, everybody? My name is Ty, owner of Flash Phone Media, one of the most trusted production companies here in the great state of Texas. And this channel is about making money with your camera. If you're serious about that, download the Flash Home Academy app and join today. So let's talk about scarcity because it's for more than just factory owned. The reason it works is because all of your customers are human. Deep down inside, we are all the same. We are procrastinators. People see the opportunity in front of them to pull the trigger, to buy that thing or hire that guy, and they don't do it because they can always do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and they push it off because they can always do it tomorrow. And then the next tomorrow and the next, and maybe tomorrow never comes. But there's a way to prevent people from pushing things off until tomorrow. And that's to make it unavailable tomorrow. That's how people operate. They prioritize the stuff they need to and everything else waits until later. It's how we operate because we hate missing out on opportunity. Now that's something called fear of missing out or FOMO. So FOMO used to be this dirty little marketing trick between those as seen on TV ads. Call in the next 20 minutes and we'll supersize your OxyClean. Call now within the next 20 minutes because we can't do this all day. Since then, everybody's heard about it. Thanks to mobile gaming, every season pass that's only available for a limited time. Every YouTuber peddling their clothes, they're all using FOMO here to drive sales. It drives us crazy to know that we could have had something, but we didn't get it in time. You gotta be quicker than that. So once the big companies saw how powerful this was, they really nailed it down. Now let's get this out of the way. FOMO is a little controversial. Yes, it is effective, but that's what makes it so divided. Although it makes money, you're making money by intentionally creating stress in your customer in order to get them to act. Use your own moral compass to navigate where you draw the line. I personally use FOMO pretty light. I don't have any act now moments, but you've seen me drop a few lines right here in these videos about subscribing to the Gold Plus membership. It's not designed to enact FOMO, but by its very nature, it's impossible to avoid it. Speaking of which, my Gold Plus members are going to get a special exclusive video on the inside where we can talk about how to use the scarcity mindset without being a total dirtbag. We don't create artificial scarcity, but we do tap into naturally occurring limits that accomplish the same thing. So how do we apply this to photo and video? Well, you can start with the basics of the basics. Limited time off. Macy's isn't the only one who can rock a 4th of July sale or a Black Friday special or a President's Day photo shoot. You can throw in some deep discounts to get them to buy when they wouldn't have otherwise bought. However, you have to know what you're getting into with this. You do these sales too often and you'll get a reputation. Pretty soon people will say, well, why book with them now? I'll just wait to the next sale. And then we're back to procrastination. You got a new problem to solve. I don't think dollar store videographer is a good look these days. And it's definitely not the look we're going for. So let's talk about exclusive styles and setups. I know a woman who does art commissions for a living. She doesn't use a camera, but this lesson still applies. She draws people as superheroes. She draws them in cosplay. She draws people as animals, as Lego figures. People get prints as gifts and they use them for avatars and profile pictures. You get the idea. Now, 80% of her income is in October and she's booked literally all month, which allows her to boost her prices to meet demand. 
people will pay four or five times the normal rate because they know she only does 100 and they want to be one of the lucky few. Now you can do this very same thing. Do a black and white Lunar New Year's special or book a unique location and get some cool costume pieces to have on hand. That is all to say that scarcity when done right isn't just a marketing ploy. It's an art in itself. It's a rhythm and you'll understand that rhythm or dance the more you practice it. Always remember, you can only polish a turd so much. Exclusivity doesn't matter if you're selling crap. So always work on yourself, mastering your craft, and then throw these tactics on top of that. Reminder for our Gold Plus members, you have part two of this video waiting for you on the inside, where we'll dive into some strategies for using natural scarcity. So keep this in mind as you grow your business. All right, I'll see y'all in the next video.